This is why this show is worth its weight in gold. So we need we need one gauge power wire to run from the the battery. That's water in the trunk. That's great. How'd that happen? We need one gauge wire to run from the battery all the way up front. Okay? 20 foot of one gauge wire, they were trying to charge me like $90. So what do we do? We bought this heavy duty jumper cable set right here on Amazon. It's one gauge. See how stupid I am? I bought ground wire, one gauge ground wire when I could have just took it from this. This heavy duty set of jumper cables. Here you go, 25 foot of one gauge wire for $38.99. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you guys, you guys out there wiring up stereos and stuff like that? Here you go. Here's your solution. You need big wire? Here it is. $38. You get two strands of two, you get 50 foot of one gauge wire. That's incredible. Incredible. So here we go. Let's get this hooked up. What we need to do first, there it is. Beautiful wire, by the way. This isn't cheap stuff. This is fine strand. Get it together. I bought a car. It's a piece of shit on four wheels. My wife hates the fucking car. It leaks oil from all of the fucking seals. The lady across the street is a cunt. She calls the town on me when I work on the fucking car. Welcome to my car show, asshole. So, we'll cut this. Just like this. It's a nice big wire. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to cut it. With these pliers. There we go. Look at that. How about that? We'll cut it. <clears throat> There's a blade. And then we got these lugs here. I think we paid $10. One gauge lugs are expensive. I couldn't find them any cheaper than that. Five for ten dollars, so two dollars a piece. And then we'll just bring it over to the old crusher and we'll do the nail trick. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if we get them all in there. Well, that's a nice lug. Fits good. Put it in the crusher. That's all there is to it. <coughs> Jeez, <laughs> that's not going anywhere. Come on. And then we'll punch it with this. Punch it right here. It's a hammer. Punch it on the back too. That one's not that pretty, <laughs> but it, it, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. Sorry. Let's put it in the car. All right, here we go. So this is going to connect here. And we're just going to connect this now like this. And we'll disconnect this one. That way we don't set the car on fire.
and I think I think we can drill this one down we don't want to interfere with the spring shackle so we got to go over like a foot let's see down probably right here right here that should be good alright there's the hole nice big hole what we'll do is we'll file that down Very good. Hi. Okay, we we'll feed the wire down there. That's going to put us right on the inside of the frame where we want to be. That's where we want to be. Okay, let's get under the car. So we got these clips right here. They're called rubber insulated clamp assortment from Harbor Freight, seven dollars. We use a bunch of these and a bunch of self tappers, and we're gonna go straight into the frame with them, and just run this power cable all the way up to the front. Let's do it. Time to go underneath. Oh, oh. That's the old man alarm. Ah. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here. As you can see, a wire comes down through here nicely, right next to the frame. Wow. Great job. And I guess we'll put some RTV around here and under here, and then secure it right here first. Keep it from bouncing around. Okay. Just like this. Or should I do it like this? I think I'll do it like, like this. Yeah. We'll secure it close, as close as possible first. Ouch! go that's one right down the line yes. you think this is easy no oh, come on baby the mother's ass god damn it where did uh, she fucking prick side ah uh, mother's ass yeah, you dirty bitch all right we'll drive the screw first right and when we're able to drive the screw and we're able to once we get the dirty bitch of a screw in right there we're gonna, we're gonna get it. I promise. And I promise. And I promise. I'm gonna drop it again first, and then we're gonna get it. Here we go. Come on. Just cooperate a little bit. That's it. That's where it goes. That's. I don't want to hear it. That's where that dirty mother goes. Right there. Come on, slide down. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's not going anywhere. Put a little more tension on it. Oh, that's that's in there good. Wow. That's not going anywhere. That'll just rub back and forth until it wears through and starts a fire. 
<laughs> All right, let's feed some of this wire down here. Slide down. See if I can get under this differential. Come on. Oh. Uh, uh, barely. Barely. Oh. Come on. Okay. So this is a pretty critical spot. We gotta get. Okay, we gotta get up and over. Can't see. We really should get one right here too, right? Before we come under there. Yep. Because that'll keep it clear of the axle. I think that's a good idea. So let's get one right here. Oh, wrong way. That way at the... I don't know how this axle would bottom out. But if it ever did... <laughs> All right. you, your mother's filthy. Right here. I can't see. Oh, come on, we almost had it. <sighs> oh my God. You know who I'm cursing right now? Everybody out there that has a lift in their garage. You guys could go all go fuck yourselves. How about that? Come on. Here we go. Oh. There we go. There it is. Oh yeah, what a nice fit, yeah, yeah baby. This one shouldn't be a problem. That's good, that's good. And now we'll move down, move down here. Hopefully we can get over that, well through there. We'll get through there. Let's get down the side of the car. Hold on. Okay, so we got to get around this leaf spring here. Can we go over the top? No, we have to go through. We have to go through. We go through. Just like that. If this car doesn't catch fire, I'll be amazed. We got these plastic clips here. I know, they're ghetto. But what are you going to do? That's all we could get for now. So put this here. Ah, your mother. Pull the hole first, right? That's right, drill the hole first. Right there. And then from there, we'll run From there, we'll run to right here. This is a nice spot. Come on, what the fuck is going on here? Did I just break the head on that thing? Come on. You serious right now? Claws really putting me to the test. Down this way. We got our screws and we got our ties. And our ties, yeah. All right. Oh, shit. I'm not really big on these plastic clips, but they'll probably save us a tenth and a quarter mile. So. They're not as heavy as the metal ones. And we'll just put them more frequently, right? 
Yes. Right here, nice and high. Right up here, right? Up here. I just hit my head on the exhaust pipe. That was fun. Working underneath cars builds neck muscles. That's right. We're gonna look like Kurt Angle by the time we're done with this car. That goes there. And then, ooh, gets a little tricky <laughs> and a little rotten up here. It's a little tricky and a little rotten. Oh boy. That's not a good piece. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put one right here. So hopefully we can get through this. Good. And we'll go under here. Oof. Oh, this is something we're going to have to consider when we're <coughs> welding up the floor. here maybe we'll go up this way we'll put one right here and I'm out of screws up right so that's what we'll do we'll put one we got one right here there's a, a line running to the back and we'll put one right here maybe right here and then we'll just wrap around and be able to go up to the firewall. Okay, listen, we'll meet you up at the firewall. <laughs> so here's our wire down there. It's about to come up. The firewall, I never liked the idea of having a solenoid hanging on the fender like that. Just, I don't know. <laughs> Rain kicking up on it and everything like that. So I figured we'd take the, the solenoid, mount it to the firewall somewhere and we'll bring the wire up and over to the solenoid okay let's do that so we'll take a couple pictures i'm gonna take some pictures of the solenoid so i know where the wires go this is gonna go right too close to the exhaust right here right here right here I like it right there Jeez. we take our line and we cut it. Oh man, my freaking back. We cut the line right here. Oh, okay. Get the razor. We got that. And now, how are we gonna crimp this? How are we gonna crimp this? Got an idea. Put this here and crank it up.
I do not know if this is gonna work. I do not think that worked. We'll see. Ah, no. No, that didn't work. Shit. We'll do it on a rock. Like a caveman. Here we go. This is real backyard caveman mechanic work right here. You ready for this? Crimp this first, right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Flatten it a little, and we'll go right here with it. Come on. Don't move. Jesus Christ. Are you telling me that's not crimped? That's how we should have did all of them. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's do that again. Oh, that's a good crimp. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we'll screw this back in. Caveman crimp. I'm all about it. Up, up. In here, oh, this is perfect. Up here, and look at this. I don't know if you can see. Yes, just like that. Our solenoid is hot. Just like that. Our solenoid is hot. Hi. So there we have it. That's the battery installed. There's the positive line. I guess we could have put some shrink tubing around this, right? That probably been, a, we could still do that though. That probably would have been the thing to do, right? Uh, I guess so. Anyhow, so next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to hook up the alternator, run the one wire over there to the solenoid and we're gonna have to run a wire to the starter and that's the basics that is the basics then we'll worry about running the rest of this crap over here ignition and all that stuff we'll have to extend those wires over to the uh to the solenoid there but that is a video for another day <laughs>